Hey guys, so I just wanted to add a couple things that I forgot to tell you. Um, please do not complain in the comments about the loud noise that my spinner is making. Yes, I know it's loud. I'm super sorry. And I'll make sure not to use that spinner next time. Also, you can use any base color that you want. You do not have to use magenta. Um, if you use black, actually, it looks really cool. If you let some of that black show through, it kind of looks like a space galaxy. It's really neat. Um, so that's it, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is Luna. Say hi. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. See you later. Hey, guys. Um, so today I'm going to be doing um, alcohol ink swirl, but on a skinny cup. Um, I know I've done a swirl cup before, but it was on a wine tumbler. And I really like how they come out on skinny cups, and I had an order for two, so I decided to go ahead and film it. Um, I'm using one of my loud tumbler turners. It's an older one that I have, so hopefully it... It's not too loud and doesn't bother you too much. Um, I mixed quite a bit of resin because I'm going to be using the rest of it for some molds, a project I have going on. Um, so I, these are stainless steel stum tumblers. I spray painted the base magenta. Spray paint, it's um, flat by Rust-Oleum magenta. And I'm going to be putting some Stardust from Southern Glitter Goddess inside my resin. And you only need a tiny bit, like barely anything. This stuff lasts forever. It's really like an additive, a very fine holographic additive that just puts a little bling but not so much glitter just a little bit adds a little bling a little extra to your project so i'm just gonna start by just drizzling drizzling a little bit onto the cups I cannot tell you the exact amount that I'm using for each cup because I made extra. Sorry about that. And then I just get my gloved hand and I just smooth it up the cup. Start from the bottom, go up. Make sure you get the bottom. Yes, that is horrendously loud. Um, like I said, it's one of my older spinners and my husband says it sounds like Chewbacca, so he calls it Chewy. I actually have two of this um, older version. And you should see when I have them both going, it's like wailing through the house. The one on the right is in a wooden encasing. It's softer, quieter. And then I did a review a couple of videos back on another one that's pretty quiet. You can check that out and I'll leave the description to that in the link as well. You get them on Amazon, they come like the next day. It's pretty fast shipping. So I got everything colored and I'm just gonna let them spin for a minute to even out. Um, I'm going to be using pinata alcohol inks, um, magenta, blue, yellow, white, and gold. In the description, um, I will post a link to a whole pack if you want to get the set. 
of all the colors or I sell them individually on my Mica online store. They're a little more expensive individually, but um, at islandmicasandmore.com. So I'm gonna locate my mask. And I'm gonna start dropping. And I'm gonna start, and you can see hopefully in the camera that little sparkle that I have going on. But I'm gonna start dropping magenta. Make sure you get the bottom. In different spots. I love this swirl on skinny cups. It is my absolute favorite. It just flows so perfectly. So then after that, I'm gonna come back and hit every magenta spot with white. With alcohol inks, every time you use a color, even in a mold, you wanna use white afterwards. It makes sure that the colors are separated, they don't muddy up together, and it brings the color up. It makes that bright pop. For the people that don't do this, um, you should try it. You're gonna see a big difference. One of my doggies is crying to get off the bed. Be right back. So now I'm going to come with the blue and I'm just filling in the spots. If it happens to run into the magenta, that's awesome. It's going to make a purplish color. That's what we're going for. You can see one spinner is um, slower than the other. I kind of like, it depends on the project. If I'm doing say a glitter, um, and I'm trying to do the epoxy method and I'm trying to do a swirl with the glitter. I like the slower one, but for stuff like this, I really like the faster one. I feel like it takes forever to get back around. So after the blue, I'm going to hit it with white. Don't forget the bottom of your cup. See, I can get probably this one done before that one spins around again but sometimes you need that slower spinner like I said it just depends on what project you're doing all right now I'm gonna come with yellow and I'm just working on the empty spots I'm using KS resin. It has a super long working time. This, the rest of this resin I'm gonna use after this in a mold, it'll still be good to go. It work, the working time is about 45 minutes to an hour. This tutorial is gonna be probably one of my shortest. Short and sweet. And I buy larger bottles of the alcohol inks and then I just transfer them into these little bottles because I use so much. And I'm just putting the white on the yellow now.
And then my last color is gold. You have to be really careful with the gold. It spreads like crazy. So you just want a couple drops here and there. Two, three, one on the bottom, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's about it. Now I'm going to get my heat gun. I'm going to put my mask on. And the key to this whole cup is not to use a lot of heat. If you use too much heat, it's just going to all swirl together, turn to mud. You just need the tiniest bit of heat. On, off, on, off. And I'm not going up and down the cup. I kind of like to focus on the gold this is my mask everybody needs a mask you need to wear a mask no matter what your resin says so anyways I try to focus on the gold to spread that out and it kind of gets the other colors flowing I never leave the torch on I never apply too much heat like you would if you're just doing a flood coat and you're like shh you don't want to do that so I'm just on off on off in certain spots And then you're going to watch the cup. It just starts to swirl and do its magic on its own. If you see spots, it, what I'm doing is if I see spots where I think it needs to swirl more, I'm just adding a little more heat. And I'm going to put a little more inks in this spot up here. And that's basically it, guys. That's how I do my alcohol ink swirl cup. It's going to change so much as it's spinning until that resin stops moving. Um, a lot of common problems I have people ask about is... If when it when it gets down to the bottom, if your spinner is uneven, if it's leaning like this, all the color will run to the bottom and just mix together on the bottom. That's one of the main problems people have. 
So make sure that your turners are level, which mine aren't even level. This one's definitely not, but it's not that bad. So that was just a quick video um, on a skinny tumbler, my alcohol inks swirl. I hope you liked it. And I will see you guys soon with something new. Thank you for watching. Bye.